The annual Harry M. Sparks Distinguished Lecture Series is hosted by the College of Education and Human Services. This annual event was instituted to honor Dr. Sparks, the fifth president of Murray State University. The featured speaker at this year's event is Corey Notstein. Mr. Notstein joins us now to tell us what he will be speaking about. So first off, congratulations on your award of the School Counselor of the Year. How did it feel getting that recognition? Yeah, it was really quite humbling, really. You know, when, when you're told that you win a national award, you start to think about all the people that your, your colleagues and all the people you get to work with and to think that um, someone has selected you as like the very best at anything, uh, I think is uh, quite a shock to me personally. Um, but it, uh, it's been really amazing just the, the places I've been able to travel over the last year and talk to the campuses like here at Murray State University or just around the country has been really an amazing experience. So do you know anything about the event that's going on tonight? So just a general overview. Yeah, so I know that they're going to be honoring some uh, faculty um, as well as some other individuals uh, during the awards ceremony. And so I'm just happy to be a part of it and be able to be here and honored to be able to present to them. So what are you planning on speaking about at this event? Yeah, so tonight I want to talk about uh, how school counselors are really supporting students uh, and children in their career development. So how do we at a very early age start helping students understand what they want to do, how they go about selecting a career, how they go about entering college, and really what is it that we want them to accomplish uh, when they leave high school uh, and we hope that students can one pick a career eventually right because we know that you may not settle on one career right after high school uh, but eventually you'll find your path that you're most passionate about and how does that tie in with the counseling services here at murray state yeah so murray state uh, has a counselor ed program and so within that counselor ed program is the school counseling track and so there are school counselors uh, in training learning to uh, enter whether it be k well, it'll be really K-12 education to, to really work with students one-on-one -on -one or in classroom settings or small group counseling settings. And so uh, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to share some insight just about the things that I've done and the things that I've done over the, the last couple of years to support school counseling in the profession. So what, what do you, is the main thing that you want the students and faculty and the attendees to take away from your speech? I think the main thing that uh, I hope people hear is that Students will never know for sure probably when they leave K-12 education what they want to do. But as long as we can guide them to a path that they're satisfied and find life fulfillment in what they're doing, I think that's what hopefully what they hear and that uh, there's no linear path uh, to a job or a career that's going to last your lifetime. So what advice do you have for other school counselors? I think one thing that school counselors can do is really continue to learn and educate themselves about the the growing trends that happen in K-12 education and making sure you're providing a comprehensive school counseling program that covers not just academic counseling and not just career and development uh, counseling for students but also the social emotional piece. How are we making sure students are well-rounded individuals being able to cope with uh, the things that society throws at them? Okay and what are some of your personal accomplishments that got you this recognition as the school counselor of the year? Yeah, so some of the work that I was doing um, that was recognized was really increasing access to post-secondary education for students. And so um, when I went to a small community in rural Colorado, uh, students were um, struggling to find financial aid to support their uh, career aspirations. And so uh, students were bringing in roughly like 400000 a little bit more than $400,000 in student aid. Um, within that first year, we were able to increase it to a little over a million dollars. So it really allowed students to be able to access their careers that they hope to do and access additional education. Um, and some of the other things that we were doing, we're looking at how do we provide support for all students in our building. Sometimes there are students that don't have a voice, uh, whether it be an LGBTQ group, whether it be uh, students that just don't know how to advocate for themselves at the current moment. And so we really were trying to bring a voice and, and help students grow as individuals. That's great. Well, congratulations again, yeah. and thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it.